Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris, and in this video we are going to learn how you can build REST APIs in Flask with Flask SQL Alchemy and also Flask Marshmallow. So first of all, uh, you need to install Flask. Uh, so uh, after installation, you can simply install Flask by using pep install Flask and it will be installed. After that, uh, you need to install Flask Marshmallow. So what's Flask Marshmallow? If you see the documentation of Flask Marshmallow, so uh, it's a 10 integration layer for Flask uh, and it's used for object serialization and also deserialization. It's a serialization and deserialization library. So when you're going to build API, REST APIs uh, before sending data, uh, you need to do serialization on your data. So now also we are going to use uh, Flask. Uh, so for the installation, you need to uh, install this. So the installation is simple. You can simply use pip install and uh, flask marsh marshmallow. So uh, after that, hit enter and it will be installed. So I have already installed this and uh, I don't uh, want to install this again. And if you see the requirement, I will receive the requirement already satisfied. So after this, we are using a Flask SQL Alchemy. Now, uh, uh, SQL Alchemy is uh, so Flask SQL Alchemy is uh, Python SQL toolkit, toolkit and ORM. So ORM is Object Relational Mapping, and uh, that gives developers the full power and flexibility of SQL. SQL. So, and Flask SQL Alchemy is, uh, an, is a Flask extension that adds support for uh, SQL Alchemy to Flask applications. So, also you need to install uh, SQL Alchemy. So, the installation you can simply uh, you can install pip uh, install uh, Flask and SQL Alchemy and hit enter, it will be installed. So after installations that you have com uh, completed your installation, the first thing I need, let me just create uh, from Flask, I'm going to import uh, Flask. So I want to import Flask. Also, I need a request uh, with uh, JSONify, like this, okay? And uh, so first, let me just create a simple uh, example of Flask. I have a video uh, a series on Flask you can check. So, okay, now after this, we have created our Flask app. Uh, now uh, you can uh, simply create your route. So, app.route. So, first, let me just show you and uh, let me just give methods. And this is get. So, if you don't give the method by default, it is a get method. And now let me just call it, for example, get post. So sorry, get post. And now let me just uh, return get post. So return uh, JSONify, and you can simply write, for example, hello and uh, world. Okay, like this. So now let me just run my server underscore name. Now you can app.run and you can make the debug to true. So now if I run this in PyCharm ID, so you can see we have uh, our restarting. Okay, now if I go to this uh, URL, let me copy and paste this uh, in here. Okay, so now you can see hello world. Now, if I sent, uh, let me just copy this and uh, so let me just uh, also let me just make this git because uh, in here let me make it git. And if I go to git. Okay, so now let me just uh, hit this URL through Postman. Uh, let me create and uh, let me just. Uh, so it's a GET request, and if I send, you can see we have received hello world. Uh, 
so now uh, we have uh, created this and uh, so this was just a simple I will uh, change this uh, uh, before this because we are using flask SQL alchemy and also we are going to use uh, MySQL database so you need to create a database so I'm using WAMP server and here I need to create a da database I'm going to call it post so create so database created and right now I don't have any table because I will use SQL alchemy for creating of my tables now after this uh, we need to uh, configure our SQL alchemy uh, first let me just import uh, at the top so from uh, flask sql alchemy import sql alchemy and also i need to use flask marshmallow import marshmallow like this so now in here uh, i'm going to first configure my mysql database so app.config and in here you can add the uh, SQL alchemy underscore database URI so we are going to add our database URI so SQL alchemy database URI and uh, let me just uh, now you can uh, you can use uh, SQLite database so if you see uh, SQL flask SQL alchemy documentation you can use MySQL SQLite or PostgreSQL so for the purpose of this video we are going to use mysql database so let me write mysql and uh, you need to uh, give your username so my username is root after that you need to give the password so i don't have any password for my uh, database and also it is a local host and at the end you need to write your data uh, your uh, database name so it is post my database name is so you can simply uh, create like this uh, this is a URI okay so after this now we need to create SQL alchemy object so I call it DB SQL alchemy and I'm going to pass my app in here also let me just create the object of marshmallow and you need to pass your app in here now the first class that uh, we are going to use we need to create our model so our table model okay now let me just create class post and it inherits from db dot model like this okay so first I want to create an ID so uh, db dot column you need to add this so this is an integer so I want it should be integer also I want it should be uh, auto increment and I want so let me just give a primary key to this to true okay now after this let me just also give a title so db dot column and uh, this is an string and you need to specify the character so I want to give it 100 and let me just copy this So I want for the description. It is db dot column. Uh, let me just change this to, for example, two hundred. And let me just copy once more. Uh, this time I'm going to just give an author. So you can give. Let me just give it uh, fifty. So after this now we need to create the uh, constructor for our this uh, class so def init and uh, now you need to, we need to give a title uh, description and also author now we need to solve dot title it is a title and solve dot description description solve dot author it is author so after creating of this now we are going to create our post schema so for uh, we are going to use uh, uh, marshmallow for the uh, serialization so let me just uh, create class post and uh, schema uh, so ma dot mar ma dot schema so schema 
now we need to create a class meta and in here we are going to specify the fields so if you have watched my Django REST framework you can watch that I have added the link to the video description so the serialization is the same so in here you can add title and uh, you need to specify the fields what fields you want so for example I want all fields and let me just write but you can uh, change this for example if you want just title and author you can add, uh, give the title and author in here so after creating of your schema now we need to uh, create the object of this so first let me create uh, for for example if you want to uh, post or one data so we are going to use post dot query dot all and uh, so if you want for example multiple uh, so sorry it's not query I have made a mistake so post schema it's like this okay so also uh, if you want it should be for example uh, more than one post so now for that you need to uh, if you're working with uh, a set of query you need to give money to true money to true so it's just for a single data and this is for a, a query set we are going to use this now after this uh, uh, so we have created our uh, get post now uh, it's uh, uh, let me just now first create a adding post so I want to add uh, okay so before this uh, I forgot we have created our this table now we need to uh, add this table to our uh, so let me just create uh, okay now let me just uh, first close this uh, terminate my application <coughs> and let me just uh, create a new session let me close this okay so the first thing I need I need to from main okay so first I need to run my Python in here and from main import DB and now we need to DB uh, okay so DB dot create underscore all also it's giving me a warning but uh, I will make it okay so let me just hit enter okay so now if I check my database uh, post you can see I have a post uh, a table in here with ID title and description so you can see we have a warning you can uh, uh, add this to here so app dot config and you can let me just copy this and paste it in here <coughs> so make this to false and you will not receive this error again so okay now after creating of this I'm going to create my uh, so let me just create a new route for adding uh, posts so app dot route and uh, this is uh, add post so let me just call it post and I need to give the methods so it is a post method so uh, okay sorry okay so diff add post the first thing I need I need to uh, get my data so requ request dot JSON and this is title and description so request dot JSON and this is uh, description let me just copy this for my author 
author and this is author now after this uh, I need to create uh, the object of my uh, database model that I have created so post and now you need to add your title so this is the constructor of our model description and also author like this okay now after this uh, now let me just uh, because uh, now I need to add this uh, so I need to add this my post and uh, let me make it uh, my posts and also let me just make this add post so it's not post okay so after this we need to commit our DB so session dot commit like this okay and at the end we need to return our post schema that we have created and we need to convert this to JSONify and now we are returning our posts so now this is how uh, we have created this now let me just run this run my server so okay now it's uh, working okay so now if I uh, check my okay so now let me just check uh, this in the postman I want to add a data so let me just uh, first copy this data and uh, let me just uh, come okay first let me just copy my this uh, URL this time it is uh, uh, you can see it's post so let me change this to post and uh, let me just copy this hello world and I want to add some data through postman so in the body I want a row and also change this to JSON and uh, sorry let me just uh, copy this okay so the first one is our uh, title so let me just write uh, this is a title so this is a title and uh, we have a description uh, this is a description for post and the last one was author so we don't add the ID because it's auto increment so now let me just uh, it uh, this is uh, you can give an author for example let me just write my name okay so now let me just change this to post and if I send request you can see we have 200 okay and uh, if you check now we have uh, this is uh, uh, our author and we have added this data now you can check your database so let me just go to post and let me just did I have a post in here and now you can see we have first ID this is a title this is a description for post and this is the author okay so this was for uh, posting the data now uh, SQL alchemy track modifications I have made it false but uh, I don't know why it's uh, uh, let me just check this that I have added this to false that why it's not working okay guys so the problem is in here because I have given a space in here so we don't need to give a space in this section now if you run this you will not see that warning so that warning is no problem but uh, you can see uh, we don't have that warning in here right now okay so now we have done our posting uh, so we have and we have added a post like this and uh, let me just another one for example let me just change this to this as uh, another uh, post this is uh, uh, 
another description and this is another title so author sorry you can give whatever you want so for example John Doe and if I send this and it's sending request so we have 200 OK and we have another uh, so if I check my database so you'll see that uh, I have uh, another data also you can see that this is the second data the author is John Doe so this was the post now for the get uh, for example you want to get the post <coughs> let me just uh, create uh, so this is add post and this is get okay so instead of returning just hello world now we need to let me just create all posts and uh, I want to query on my all posts so query dot all like this and uh, after this let me just create a result now I want to get the posts schema because we are going to uh, do serialization on a curious set so for this we I'm going to use the posts posts schema dot dump uh, and uh, we are going to add our all posts in here now let me just return uh, my now you can return JSONify and uh, the result so not request result so now let me just run this uh, okay so now uh, if I uh, now if I go to get in here you can see I have two data in here so this was the two data that I have used via postman postman so now let me just open postman and in the get if I send request you can see that I have uh, also two data in here so this was our get uh, now you want to access to a particular uh, data uh, for example post for that we are going to create another route in here so for example you want to get a particular post so let me create app dot route and uh, in here let me uh, it is a post details and uh, we are going to give an ID in here like this and the method is so the methods uh, so it is a get method <coughs> now I'm going to just uh, define my met, uh, post details in here <coughs> and I want to pass ID as uh, in here as a parameter now uh, we are going to query on our uh, we need to get uh, the post so you can query dot get and I want to get the ID for example first ID or second ID post and after that <coughs> I'm going to return uh, post uh, post schema so post schema dot JSONify and now you can pass your post in here okay so now if I go to this URL so let me just copy this and this time uh, I want post details for example the second post so you can see this is our second post and if you go to first one so let me just uh, this is first one let me do this in the postman so this time uh, for example let me just create another uh, tab in here so I want to send uh, for example the first you can see this is the first one and if you change this to second and if you send you can see that this is the second so this was uh, for the particular post uh, now we are going to do updating for example uh, you want to update and for that let me just create another route so at app dot route so this is uh, this time a uh, post update because we need the ID of the post when we are going to update so we need to give the ID in here and the method is so 
and the method uh, is put so put now let me just create a method in here post update you need to add ID in here and now we need to query on our post so post dot uh, query dot get ID and after this now we need to get our title so uh, request request dot json so it is a title uh, let me just copy this and paste it in here uh, this is for the description and uh, description also we need for the author and this is uh, author okay so after this now we need to set this so post dot title post dot uh, title it is uh, to title and post dot description so it is to description and post dot author it is author okay like this and at the end we need to commit uh, our db so db dot session dot commit and also we need to return post schema dot jsonify and we need to add our post in here okay now just let me open the postman so first let me just copy this and in the postman this time for example post update and uh, so let me just copy this I want to update the second so let me just copy this and let me change the method to port and uh, in the body in the row uh, I'm going to update this so let me change this to JSON now let me just change this to update it to, for example update it and uh, let me just write an updated in here because we should okay so now if I send a request you can see 200 okay and if you see we have the data back it's updated now if I go to my this get tab and if I send request this time you can see that our second uh, data is updated and also if you check in here it's updated and also even in your uh, database if you refresh your database uh, you will see that uh, now we can see that it's updated post we have successfully updated so this was for update now the last one that we are going to work that's delete so uh, for example you want to delete a post so for that also I'm going to create an app dot route and uh, so this time it is post delete and we are going to give ID and the method is delete <coughs> uh, now I need to create the post delete ID you can simply query on post so dot query dot get ID and now we can db dot session dot delete and we are going to delete our post so the ID that we are going to get and also we need to uh, commit uh, the session so db dot commit dot session and at the end we need to return post schema dot jsonify and we are going to add the post in here so this time let me just uh, do deletion okay so I want to uh, in here uh, so in the params let me change this to a uh, post delete so I want to delete the second data and I want to change the put to delete okay so now let me just send this 
okay we have received 200 okay and now if I check my uh, get in here and if I send data sending request okay now you can see we have just one data in here also you can check this in your uh, in here so if I go to get so you will see that uh, I have just one data in here and in your database you will see that uh, uh, we have just one data so like this so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video